are gonna be chatting about safe spaces. Let me just steal this. The, oh my god. I was going for dandelion seeds just now, and a whole bunch of slimes just popped out of nowhere. Yeah, that happens. That happens. I get that a lot. It's okay. <laughs> Yes, so I have done my dailies already, but I do need to, I have four condensed resin, and I do need to uh, farm some artifacts. I think I'm going to do that. So realistically, this episode should span the duration of me farming these artifacts. So <laughs> with regard to safe spaces, do you do you, you understand what a safe space is, right? And I'm sure you have your own safe spaces. Mm, I suppose because definition varies from people to people. Uh, personally, I think a safe space is a place that, you know, obviously you'll feel safe in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And safe not in just the, just the, you know, physical way of saying you're safe. But also the uh, comfort, for the comfort of your heart. Yeah, that's also where I suppose that's what I'd say about it. So I have some dailies to do, right? I was thinking about something that my friend had spoken to me about with regard to safe spaces. And I just wanted to touch a bit more on that. I just <laughs> give this a little, a little lower. That should be fine. That should be fine. All right. <laughs> ah! Let's go kill a, an eye of the storm first, and then then we'll get into it. Oh, we can get into it now, really. So, as you've heard in the previous clip, we've defined safe spaces. Or Amy has to find a safe space uh, as what it means to her. And I think that it is so valid that we remember to take into consideration our feelings and understand that we ought to take care of ourselves in such a way that it protects our peace. And safe spaces allow us to do that. So when we take into account the things that make us feel safe and we carefully curate the people that are allowed into that space or the content that is allowed into that space it is is it is an extremely yep. important and valid way to ensure that you're safe Ooh, there we go <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's fast. Yeah. So, what we got to protect in our peace? I believe that it is so important for us to to learn how to discern whether we want certain things in our space or whether we want certain people in our space and understanding that it's okay to grow out of things and to grow out of people because the only way to grow properly is to trim away the weeds, right? And so that conversation that myself and Amy had, it, it striked something and I'm probably I really want to talk to her more about it because I had, again, the audio kind of gave me a bit of trouble. I had more, but I still I would like to re-record it because it's such a valid conversation that we have we had, and I think that having a safe space is so it is just so crucial because it is something that allows us to to feel security in times of. And when we feel hopeless, when we feel stressed, and it is just so important 
to have that security within ourselves without having to go to another person or having to feel judged for the manner in which we process our troubles, our trauma. So I believe that safe spaces are something that we need to really be careful when we select or create and allow. Very, very real. So what you're saying is when when uh, a safe space feels intruded upon is you you generate some other some other sort of activity. I sort of do, yes. Because when I start withdrawing from her, I also start like well, coming even closer to my sister if that's even humanly possible. And you know. <laughs> and I suppose during that stressful time, somehow, I also dish out a little bit more of the things than I should. Yeah. Like, so it kind of just happens that I do, I do write a handful when I stress out, so... That's so valid. Yeah. I find that's so constructive though, and honestly, I feel that because when I'm in the worst of my moods, when I feel like uh, a certain activity or a certain place isn't what it used to be. I think that's when I turn to my teapot, actually, which is why I spend so much time in there. Well, the teapot is a pretty comfortable place. I don't come in there often because I don't play often, but <laughs> really, really, it's it's a place designed for you to relax. So it is, I think yeah. it's doing a good job. If it it is, it is. Teapot. Yeah, that's a power move by Genshin, if only they would bring it back sooner, but I guess we're going we're to have it at the end of this update, so that's fine. But I, I, I really think that it's good that you constructively um, seek out, oh wow, that's a good flower piece, constructively seek out um, other, other means of protecting yourself when life is so hell-bent on making you feel like everything else is so hopeless so that is so kudos to you do you find that you're more um well personally i'm i even though it is harder to to get things done when you're upset personally i find when i do get those things done when i'm, when I'm upset i get them done more efficiently so would you say that for you as well like when you're upset you get things done better no I am no. the totally opposite <laughs> because like if I get upset I get things done in a very very bad way like just to get it done and not actually put that much effort into it <laughs> I mean okay I, I do admit that I'm a pretty half-assed person but <laughs> when I actually feel like wanting to complete something I would put effort into it like, even if I am late by, like, a freaking, I don't know, like, two months for, for, for like, a week of events, you know, for the writing week. Yeah. I seriously still put effort into finishing that last work and, and publish it even after everything's done. Because I feel like I want to do it. Like, I feel like I want to at least finish it. What else can we say about safe spaces, really? How am, Are they very important to you, safe spaces? Um, for a person like me, yes. Personally, yes. Because I am a person who tend to, like, dwell in my safe spaces mm. a lot, like most of the time. And so they're really important. So you depend on the safe spaces a lot? Yeah, you can say that okay. I do depend on my safe spaces a lot. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. My wish for everyone is that their peace stays protected. I feel like we all deserve that reassurance that our peace is intact. No one likes to feel disoriented. No one likes to feel intruded upon. 
So I, I, my my hope is that if you're watching this, you feel or you gain some sort of clarity with regard to understanding that you need to protect your peace and you need to work toward finding the places or finding the activities, being around the people that enhance your peace and not tear it down because it is so important and it is so necessary for getting through the hard parts of this life. And so my wish is that you flourish in the places that uplift you. And yeah, please protect your peace, begging you. Let's go claim and then we'll start to wrap up. fighting ah it's right so thank you for joining me and for joining Amy because <laughs> there will be some bits of Amy inserted into this clip uh, into this episode so thank you for joining us um, on motivation not to that uh, as always stay hydrated uh, understand your worth smile you are loved, you are cared for, protect your peace is this week's message, this week's lesson, so to speak. And yeah, play Genshin Impact. If you have never played Genshin Impact, I, you should try it. Join me. <laughs> Not a plug, but join the fun. I hope you have a wonderful week. And this is Renee signing off. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.